before we begin please like, share and subscribe to my channel, thank you. Manila, the improvements in the Philippine Navy PN aim to expand its capabilities so that it can operate well beyond the country's shores, its chief said on Friday. PN Chief Vice Admiral Giovanni Carlo Bacordo made this response when asked if the acquisition of the Jose Rizal class multi role frigates, the Agusta Westland or 159 anti submarine helicopters, and the Tarlac class landing docks platforms are meant to increase the Navy's ability to operate at long range. What the PN is developing are capabilities to protect our maritime interests and sovereign rights up to the EEZ, exclusive economic zones. This is attuned to the defensive character of the AFP Armed Forces of the Philippines, as enshrined in the Constitution. In other words, our end in view is to develop an expanded green water navy capable of projecting power in our aspired operational area within our maritime zones, Bacordo said in a message to the Philippine News Agency. A green water navy is defined as a naval force capable of operating within its littoral zones and is capable of conducting operations in the open oceans of its surrounding regions. The acquisition of the JRCF, Jose Rizal class frigates, TCLDs, Tarlac class landing docks, and all 159s are geared towards that direction, Bacordo added. When asked what other acquisitions are aimed at further beefing up the PN's green water capabilities, the PN chief said these include the fast attack interdictor craft missile FAIC MUS, offshore patrol vessels OPVs, landing docks LDs, corvettes, and various monitoring and area denial platforms. Regarding our upcoming acquisitions, on the horizon of the FAIC MUS, Fast Interdiction Craft Missile, OPVs, Offshore Patrol Vessel, LDs, Landing Docks, and Corvettes. In the pipeline are capabilities for mine warfare, missile systems, shore and ship-based, upgraded ISR, intelligence, surveillance, and recon, unmanned aerial systems, underwater surveillance systems, submarines, AAVs, amphibious assault vehicles, amphibian aircraft, long-range helicopters, and maritime patrol aircraft, Bacordo said. Earlier, the PN said that its FAICM project which seeks to acquire eight ships to replace its force of PKMs, or medium-sized patrol craft, is still ongoing. The project was approved for inclusion in the Horizon 2 project list of the revised armed forces of the Philippines Modernization Program and has a budget of 10 billion Philippine pesos. Four of the FAIC MUS will be armed with non-line-of-sight NLOS missiles with pinpoint accuracy with a range of 25 km while the other four will be armed with machine guns and light automatic cannons. With the FAICM, the PN shall have the capability to defend the key sea lines of communications SLOCs, such as Mindoro, Balabac, Sibutu and Basilan Straits against conventional threats. Operating in restricted waters, the FAIC MUS could interdict surface threats and launch NLOS missiles safely using the surrounding littoral areas as maneuver space and cover. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.